In one area of business, getting into the holiday spirit with hundreds and hundreds of poinsettias or poinsettias. I asked our Facebook fans how you say this beautiful flower, and Kim, I think, sums it up best. She says, just say that red Christmas flower, and you can't go wrong, or white in this case. Jim, how's it looking out there? It looks Leggers. great. We're at Stockslegers here in New Lebanon, 35 of the home, the world headquarters of the poinsettia, right in that? And it's poinsettia, poinsettia. Which one is it, Duke? Joel Poinsett, back uh, first ambassador to Mexico, brought the poinsettia back with him Boom. and introduced it to the United States. And Paul Ecke in California did a lot of work with the breeding, and the rest, they say, is history. The rest but is history. So the guy's Joel name was Point actually Set. Point Set. Point Set. Now, you learn something new every day. All right, now talk about your place. 50 years. Congre yeah. A round of a, can we get some, the applause? That's, that was weak over that there. But, weak, but 50 it? years. 50 years. Ray and Joyce, my parents, started the business. Scott decided to go into it. When he graduated from high school, he went to the Ohio State University. I was still playing around at Ohio Northern. <laughs> I joined in. Um, we, we've been here. It's, it's a wonderful thing. We've got a great group of people that work with us. You do. No, you really do. And when you think of poinsettia, you think of you guys. I mean, you really do. And you've got all different varieties and colors. And you've got something like 40,000 in here? There's approximately 40,000. We've probably shipped eight or 10,000 by now. But between now and Christmas, once again, the churches and groups that fundraisers, and churches put them in the sanctuaries for Christmas. So, And, you know, and I learned something off camera. You know, we talk between the live shots just to see if there's something we want to talk about. And the uh, there's a sort of a rumor going on around. Oh, look, the phone's ringing. People are calling. But uh, either that or I've got bells in my head. I'm not quite sure what that is. He, well, he didn't hear anything. I got doctor, help me. Uh, but there's a rumor out there about the poison... Oh. And the poinsettias is not true. It, it's not true. And they, the universities, it's, this isn't from Duke, but the universities have really done a lot of research. Poinsettia is not poisonous. Now, just as in anything, you can eat a lot of them and get sick. Oh, yeah. Well, so, anything. right. And cats like to go outside and eat the grass, and they do their thing. And the same with the poinsettia. So if you, you know, you've got a cat or a dog, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't have the poinsettia because they're poisonous and they're not they're, they're not poisonous but they you don't want them to eat them you want them around to enjoy and look at them <laughs> well if you're hungry enough put a little salad dressing yeah, on there and go for it garden. all right uh stockslagersgardencenter.com for more information you guys are kind of our mom and pop stop today too you got third generation we got uncle scott over here and we got jacob you're never going to live that down are you all right well listen merry christmas to you guys and we yep. appreciate the uh, poinsettias on our yeah. set every year you guys do that it's fun to do it we we really enjoy and the people come in we have people take pictures it, it's it's fun okay. it's right. fun thanks Duke, very much okay dan back to you hey. from uh, poinsettia headquarters jim what salad dressing do you uh, do you recommend oh okay we'll get back to him on that